Today is a solemn day, as it is the 35th year anniversary of the tragic death of John Lennon, who was a very accomplished musician, who started in very humble beginnings as a music artist and had a love and passion for what he did. He later was propelled into famous and ultra success as one of the four members of the Beatles accompanying Paul McCartney George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. John Lennon was one of the songwriters, along with Paul McCartney, and he was the driving force in the Beatles' meteoric success. I will dedicate this writing I did of the Beatles in his honor. John Lennon was very talented, very special, and he was ahead of his time. We miss John Lennon but his music will live on forever. And hopefully his ideals will come to fruition as he was a peace advocate and a very loving and compassionate human being. We miss you, John Lennon. And this is my tribute titled Music Everlasting, The Beatles. I was just a little kid when I saw them perform on the Ed Sullivan Show. And I knew my mother was a big fan. Their music was written with vision and it had a great sound, and all the kids loved it. It was a sign of the times, as the Beatles really had a tremendous influence back in the 1960s, as they paved the way for so many talented groups to come to the States from England. Ed Sullivan introduced the four lads from Liverpool to roaring crowds of teenagers and all the girls went wild as they screamed, cried, and cheered them on as the four young men from a foreign land with their mop tops performed to record crowds of TV audiences in the United States on February 9th, 1964. It was a historic event as the Beatles played some of their popular songs known in the United Kingdom. They were a major hit and they performed for three consecutive shows airing on Sundays That month, they became an overnight sensation and would be back many more times to enthusiastic crowds of adoring fans. It's always interesting learning how a band comes together and finds a connection with its members. The Beatles, one of the most popular bands of all time, started out modestly in Liverpool 
a working class city where they began their music endeavors as a band called the Quarrymen in 1957 as teenagers. That was when John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison came together, all guitarists. They would perform together with other pre-Beatles band members. And it was not until 1960 that they formed under a new name, settling on the Beatles after many different incarnations of the name. They also signed with drummer Ringo Starr and completed the quartet as the world known them in 1962. The Beatles performed in their native country and traveled throughout Europe where they were becoming very popular. And it was a crossing at Heathrow Airport between them and Ed Sullivan's entourage that paved the way for them to be showcased in the United States on his TV show. It was a perfect time for the Beatles to perform in the States and their popularity soared throughout the 1960s as they provided a fresh, new perspective in music. They had the gifted talents of songwriters John Lennon and Paul McCartney in creating their music and collaborating together. And they all performed well together as a true legendary band of the time. John Lennon was a visionary and he developed an interest in music as a young boy growing up in a working class community. He was born in 1940 in Liverpool during World War II. He had a difficult childhood in that he was separated from his parents and was taken care of by his aunt and uncle who cared for him. He still had contact with his mother and he was exposed to music and was influenced by Elvis Presley and other artists of the 1950s where he developed and started writing songs and played the banjo. John Lennon lost his mother in a tragic accident when he was only 17 years old. He was the only child in her marriage to John's father, but he had two, three half-sisters as his mother gave birth to three daughters to two different fathers. Paul McCartney was born in Liverpool in 1942, and he has a younger brother, Mike, who also was a musician and currently works as a photographer. Paul was a good student where he met George Harrison and developed an early friendship before they became musicians. Paul was interested in music at an early age and he lost his mother to illness when he was only 14 years old. This had a major impact on his songwriting years later and he and John Lennon would eventually team up as one of the best songwriting teams, having both gone through personal family tragedies. Paul McCartney learned about music early on since his father had an interest in music, having played the trumpet and piano in a jazz band. Paul McCartney was influenced by his father and well-known music artist, Little Richard. George Harrison was born in 1943 in Liverpool and was the youngest of four children with two brothers and a sister. His mother was a shop assistant and his father was a bus conductor. He and Paul were classmates in school and developed a long-lasting friendship 
from their school days and throughout their playing days and their lives up until George died in 2001. Ringo Starr born Richard Starkey in 1940 in Liverpool was the last Beatle to join the group as the drummer. He was a sickly child and missed periods of school at times. His parents separated when he was just a baby and his mother remarried and his stepfather was an influence in his life in introducing him to music. The Beatles came together in August 1962 as John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. And they have attained the status of one of the most influential rock bands of all time. Their music is well known in all parts of the world. And the Beatles have fans of all ages. And despite the fact that two of the members are gone, their music still lives on and will live on forever. Their songs have such beauty and stir up emotion and touch us all in many ways. My favorite Beatles songs are Hey Jude and The Long and Winding Road. There are so many Beatles songs that I love and I can listen to their music for hours at a time. I have been listening to the Beatles music since I was a child of five years old and I will always have a special place in my heart for their music. The Beatles created a lot of their music at the Abbey Road studio where they came together and made so many of their albums that still sell to lay today in record numbers. It is their legacy of being one of the most revered and well-known bands of all time. And we have their music to love and cherish for ages to come. The Beatles performed together from 1960 through 1970 and have certainly influenced so many artists and created the craze of Beatlemania and set off the British invasion, which sparked so many wonderful bands from England to perform in the States. Their most memorable concert was performed at Shea Stadium in 1965 to a sellout crowd and it was heavily policed as there were so many crazed and adoring fans in attendance and they were very well received wherever they played. When the Beatles separated and the band members went off in their own directions. Each of them had successful music careers as John Lennon continued to write and had collaborated with his wife Yoko Ono up until his murder in 1980, December 8th, 1980, by a deranged fan Paul McCartney enjoyed a career with the band Wings with his wife, Linda McCartney, who he lost to cancer in 1998. Paul McCartney still is doing performances and concerts. George Harrison also performed and wrote songs up until his death in 2001. Ringo Starr is still performing to this day, as is Paul McCartney. It can be said that the Beatles certainly left their mark 
and provided us music to enjoy for generations to come. We always wanted to see a Beatles reunion, but at least we have the music to enjoy. Long live the Beatles music. And in closing, I just want to express my sorrows for the passings, tragically, of John Lennon, who was murdered this very day of my recording, December 8th, which also is a good day for me as it is my son's 17 year birthday but 1980 December 8th was a very sad day as we lost a musical hero John Lennon and also in 2001, we lost George Harrison, sadly, to illness. They will never be forgotten. And for the surviving members, we are truly grateful that they are still doing what they love to do, which is perform and entertain and continually amaze us with their music. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Thank you. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr for delighting us with your music, your vision, and your love for us as fans dedicated to the memory of John Lennon, George Harrison, Emily Ionelli of T-Girl Angel.